today we are in full mitigation mode. Uh, as of 8.50 this morning, we got our first test case uh, confirmed back uh, in Onondaga County. Uh, it is a female in their 70s. She went to emergency room with some symptoms and, uh, um, and was uh, uh, have her test taken and were discharged home. Um, we received the test notification today uh, and, uh, uh, and, uh, uh, and contacted the patient. Uh, for a further uh, investigation uh, as there is no travel history um, as far as we know at this point, but the investigation will continue. So we do our due diligence and track, we pretty much walk the person's footsteps backwards and identify each and every uh, place she has been or family or friends she has contacted. That's what our job is and that's what we will do. So it's important. Um, it, uh, I think underlying basis of your question is people are getting nervous about that. And when everybody has to remember that, so when we talk about social distancing, it is going to change our day-to-day -day life. There's no question. And we have to accept that fact until this virus is out of our lives. Now our responsibility overall as uh, leaders is we have to take care of our vulnerable and we really got to step up. So we're going to be working on uh, certainly working with municipalities on sh shutting down unnecessary programming, but also making sure that uh, programming that provides meals to our seniors uh, will either be uh, working that in into our food and nutrition plans or we'll figure out different measures. More to come on that. Uh, there are opportunities to volunteer. Uh, we have uh, the food bank and the United Way. Now's the time as people want to know how can they help in this process. Uh, putting together and bagging up lunches and meals will be something that we will need everybody's help. Uh, and so certainly we're asking uh, for volunteers. We're asking for any medical professionals uh, to please be on call as we continue to get out in front of this virus right now. We need to, we're planning and preparing for every uh, different scenario and that may mean that we need other medical professionals to help support the medical infrastructure we have in place. Uh, we have well over 25,000 uh, children that we still have to feed every day even when there's not school in the circumstances. So we've been working with each district, uh, each plan. We are building up each plan that the district has into our emergency management plan. In addition to that, uh, we are working on uh, daycare strategies right now, uh, specifically for our medical infrastructure. Uh, continuity planning on child care is critical in this process because uh, we can't have our uh, hospital workers and our health care workers having to stay home to watch their kids when we need to have them in the hospitals.